Recently, I had the privilege of watching a movie called Sounder, which has been acclaimed as the best black film that's ever been done. The female lead, I can say for myself, is the finest performance by an actress, black or white, that I've ever seen. So let's have a real Soul Train welcome for the lady who played that lead, Miss Cicely Tyson. Hi, Cicely. Thank you very much. I'd like much. you to meet two members of our Soul Train gang. Doris Freeman. Gregory Oliver. And Greg nice Oliver. Nice to meet you both. Cicely, to begin with, um, I'd like to ask you how you feel about Sounder in terms of comparing it with the many other things you've done, a many other film, uh, a series that you were with a long time. Uh, which of the many things you've done was most rewarding, or how do you rate Sounder among them? Well, I don't think there's any comparison actually, Don. I, Sounder is the most gratifying thing I've ever done. I, there's never been a role written for a black actress uh, that equals Rebecca, and I doubt that there'll be another one. I, I venture to say that. How do you feel about uh, the way the film was done? Or I probably should say, uh, how was it possible to do it so well for everybody to just... Well, I think it was all of the combination of all of the things. Uh, uh, Marty Ritt, the director, and, and Paul Winfield, who plays my husband. Um, John Alonzo, who's the cinematographer, who's a Chicano-American, and um, who does, I call a poet with a camera because I've never seen such marvelous um, photography ever. Um, all, all of the elements happen to be right in this instance, um, and uh, they all went, it's, I describe it as a big, beautiful cake with all of the ingredients that are absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. So when you know you open the door of the oven, there it is, it's just fantastic. And it's one of the most beautiful films. And it's not only because I'm in it, it's because I know it. It took me a long time to see it. And uh, finally, I went to a screening. And when it was all over, I just turned to Paul and I said, I don't care what anybody says. I know it's the most beautiful film I've ever seen, and I'm proud to be associated with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you had a question. For yeah. Me. All the young ladies here really dig your hair. It's cold-blooded. And they wanted to know just who did it. Uh, uh, my hair is done by a hairdresser in Beverly Hills whose name is Omar. Yes. How long does it take to... It took her about 10 hours to do this one. She did it uh, for the premiere of Sounder, which was Wednesday night, and she started on it Monday. She worked from 10 to 6, and then I went back on Wednesday, and she worked from 10 to 12. So <laughs> it takes a few hours to do it. But and your she's question. Sir. Uh, how do you feel about the black movies made today? Well, I hope uh, that Sounder uh, will turn the tide of those black movies. I, I can't put them down completely because they allowed us to get our foot in the door. Uh, but I say that we should be given a choice. I mean, I don't like people to make decisions for me. Let me choose. Give me the variety and let me make the choice. That's my feeling. Okay, we'd like to dedicate this next tune to you and to Sandra Cicely Tyson. Mr. Al Green, you ought to be with me. Oh, wow. I just love him. Love him. Thank you very much. 